Whooping cough, also known as pertussis, is a highly contagious respiratory infection caused by the bacterium Bordetella pertussis. It primarily affects the respiratory tract, leading to severe coughing spells that can last for several weeks or even months. The infection is most dangerous in infants and young children, though it can affect people of all ages. Despite widespread vaccination efforts, whooping cough continues to occur, especially in areas with low vaccination rates. And that is the topic of this video, so keep watching for a quick overview of this infection. The early symptoms of whooping cough resemble those of a common cold, including a runny nose, mild cough, and low-grade fever. However, as the disease progresses, the cough becomes more severe and individuals may experience violent coughing fits, followed by a characteristic whooping sound as they try to breathe in. These episodes can be exhausting and may lead to vomiting or difficulty breathing. The coughing fits tend to be more frequent at night, often disrupting sleep. Whooping cough is highly contagious and spreads through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs or sneezes. People are most contagious during the early stages of the illness before the severe cough develops. This makes it easy for the infection to spread, especially in close contact settings such as schools, daycare centers, and households. Infants and young children are particularly vulnerable to serious complications from the infection, including pneumonia, seizures, brain damage, and in some cases, death. Vaccination is the most effective way to prevent whooping cough. The DTaP vaccine, which protects against diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, is routinely given to infants and children. Adults and adolescents can receive the Tdap booster to maintain immunity as the protection from childhood vaccination wanes over time. Pregnant women are also encouraged to receive the Tdap vaccine during each pregnancy to provide protection for their newborns, who are too young to be vaccinated themselves. Treatment for whooping cough typically involves antibiotics to reduce the severity and duration of the illness, particularly if administered during these early stages. However, antibiotics may be less effective once the disease has progressed to the severe coughing phase. Supportive care such as staying hydrated and using humidified air to soothe the respiratory system can help manage symptoms. But as previously mentioned, whooping cough remains a significant public health concern, particularly in populations with low vaccination coverage. Vaccination, early detection, and timely treatment are crucial to reducing the spread and severity of this potentially life-threatening disease. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.